Hi, my name is uh, Hung No Lee. I'm a professor at GIST, uh, South Korea, Gwangju Institute of Science and Technology. I run uh, Infonet Laboratory. Currently, we have made a blockchain uh, of our own. So this uh, video is to demonstrate uh, the operation of our uh, blockchain. So the Infonet blockchain demonstration. Uh, these are uh, helped by uh, my students, Ki Won Yang, Chang Yun Lee, Kang Seung Bom. Okay, this is uh, written in September 15th, 2018. And uh, this uh, here shows uh, our uh, Infonet blockchain. There are six computers involved in this demonstration. This is chain structure and then mining steps and so on. So the aim of this video is to show that our blockchain consensus mechanism is working properly. A suite of codes implementing the consensus mechanism is written in Python and Flask language. Currently, the consensus mechanism includes the following items. First, the block and its header. So here is the block. Actually, block is written as data here. And the header, header includes the index, which is actually the block number. So block number goes from 8, 9, and 10. Nonce is written right here. And then previous hash, present hash. Present hash for this block becomes the previous hash of the next block. And so on and so, so forth. Uh, so going back to this uh, file right here. Uh, second item is proof of work, POW, based on SHA-256 hash function. Third item is change of difficulty level by increasing or decreasing the number of leading zeros in hashes. So currently we have, a, we see five leading zeros but in our demonstration, we change this and the difficulty level changes. Basically, the time to take minor single block takes longer time if we include, uh, if we increase the number of zeros from five to six, for example. And uh, the fourth item is uh, the consensus rule. Basically, longest chain wins. So longest chain consensus rule. So that is whenever each node starts to mine a block, it looks for the longest valid chain. Each node communicates with all its neighbor minor nodes, determines which one has the longest chain. If the longest chain from the neighbor is longer than uh, its own local chain, and its hash sequence is validated, then the chain is valid, then it replaces its local chain with the longest one. Longest, a valid one. Uh, that's the longest chain consensus rule. And then fifth item is inclusion of broadcasted transactions into blocks. That is, those transactions broadcasted to the mining network are captured by each miner and uh, it is included in its uh, own blockchain. So that is going to be demonstrated. Uh, to this end, we use six computers, as I told you already. Each one has its own IP addresses. Uh, and uh, we, we aim to demonstrate the operation of small mining network, given right here, with the six computers in total. Five computers do the role of independently working minor computers, and one computer is reserved uh, uh, for uh, making transactions only. And then the IP address of the minor computers are given right here. So first node is IP address is uh, 172.26.16.41. And then others goes like this, and uh, the num uh, node number six is uh, 
uh, transaction generating nodes. So its IP address is given right here. The port number we use is 5000 for all these nodes. Okay. Okay, now this is the script for the working demo on screen. All right, we ran the experimental setup and captured it into a video file. So that video file is going to be replayed on this console. Okay, and uh, first we open up Anaconda console at node number one. IP address is 41. Okay, as you can see 41 here. And this is uh, uh, computer node number one's uh, Anaconda console. And then we go to the directory where the blockchain core file is located. And the name of the blockchain core file is this info blockchain one pi file one dot pi file. And then we issue this command this command right here on this line in the Anaconda console then the blockchain runs on this node number one as you can verify it here so 41 right here so 40 node number one with the IP, IP address 41 and the port number 5000 is now a blockchain server running the Python script and then first one it uh, does is register its neighbor nodes and the second one it does is mining, starts mining. So basically, uh, going back to this script, the computer is running the blockchain core, as we can see from the console right here. And node one is now a blockchain server in, the, uh, in our small network. There are other nodes where we started uh, at the same time. And then this is not shown in this console though because this is the, uh, the console at node number one. Now, first thing that node one does is to register other nodes. So this is done right here, like I told you a moment ago. And uh, node one starts mining. So up to here is uh, what we see already on the screen. Okay, uh, now, as soon as it starts mining, it first aims to gather all the chains from its neighbors, all, the, uh, all its neighbors. This is done in the, I mean, this is the consensus protocol we run in the file. So let's see what, uh, let's see uh, this part, okay? I, I will let this run. Okay, mining has begun. And it requests other nodes to give its chain to node number one. All right, it does that. And then first one, it the uh, first block is uh, mined by node number one. So how do I know? This is the second block. The first blo block is the original block. And then the transaction, there is a single transaction. This is Coinbase transaction. Uh, it, uh, the miner gets this uh, 50 coin rewards. Uh, this is the miner's uh, address. And the previous hash is just a random hash, the original blocks. And the present hash is five leading hexadecimal zeros because the difficulty level is currently set to five leading hexadecimal zeros. And uh, this one has a successfully uh, uh, mined the uh, second block. All right, so that's uh, this part. Um, okay, uh, that part I have done that. Node number four, node number three, I, I mean node number one ask for chain, and then node number one announces its mining success to neighbors. So this is done right here. And then other nodes stops mining their current block, accepting this, uh, accepts this, uh, accepts, uh, actually this has to be, no, 
Yes. Accept this chain and the start, I don't know, the start mining again uh, to extend this ad adapted chain. Okay, now let's see, let me continue. Uh, my script says the next one, next block is going to be mined by node number four. Let's see what happens. Okay, so node number four has mined and then it announces it's a success to other nodes and then other nodes accepts again right and then continues and then here I stop this again uh, third block and the fourth block right here fourth block fourth block uh, is mined by node number four okay let's see fourth block mined by node number four uh, will we see that going back a little bit maybe fourth block is mined by node number four okay all right and then we continue fifth block is going to be mined by node number three let's see node number three has mined and the fifth that is fifth block and then next what we will see is a new, tr new transaction is cre created by node number six. Uh, node number six is this one. And uh, sent to other miners. I mean, it's announced uh, to the network. And uh, let's continue. And that is going to be uh, included in the sixth, sixth block. We will see. Okay, all right. Let's see, it passed the... Uh, a moment, a moment ago it passed so let's see sixth block is right here uh, I have to go back a little bit sixth block and it includes the transaction created by sixth node a moment ago this is the coinbase tra transaction this is uh, transaction uh, normal transaction okay so we verify that all right now let's we continue um, on each block the first transaction is the mining reward of 50 coins we verify that paid to miners address and then while I'm talking about this uh, we have seen that that seventh block is mined by node number four Eighth block is mined by node number four again, and the ninth block mined by node number five. And uh, so here, node number five. Okay. So it works, right? And uh, next, what we'll see uh, is basically we run this uh, continuously uh, for more, and then uh, uh, up to. Uh, 30th, 30th block we uh, run it continuously and then basically uh, it takes about uh, mm, uh, let's see let's let's continue all right so ninth block mind 10th block mind and so on and so on with the difficult difficulty level of five leading zeros 11th block 12th block it is about uh, four seconds between blocks mine, mining time 16th 18th 19th and so on so on the average it takes about four point second 4.7 seconds to mine a single block at this difficulty level of five leading zeros that's what we are seeing and this is hexadecimal zeros remind that does one more leading zero means that it takes at least 16 times longer than before okay uh, we will change the difficulty level um, a little later so 27 29th 30th now we will change the uh, leading uh, zeros to six okay so and then up to here it takes about 2.13 uh, seconds and uh, uh, 
number of block is uh, 30. So uh, time divided by number of blocks will give you 4.0 seconds per block. Okay, so 4.4 seconds per block. And then now we will change uh, the difficulty level to six leading zeros. Uh, 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 one uh, zero means, because it's a hexadecimal zero, means uh, 16 times harder uh, to solve the puzzle. So at least it will take 16 more times. So uh, 16 times 4.0 seconds per block now becomes 75 seconds per block. So it will take more than a minute to mine a single block. And then that, will, uh, that you will see uh, now. Okay. <clears throat> okay. By luck, the 31st block was mined very quickly, but this is just by luck. On the average, it will take more than a minute. Okay. So we wait. We wait again and again. Uh, no more block is being mined. In the meantime, the sixth block, uh, sixth node is adding transactions to the networks. But these transactions are nowhere to go because no block is mined. It will take more than a single minute. Okay, but my students were impatient. They didn't wait until the 30 uh, second block is mined. And then they actually going to, they have actually changed the difficult level uh, again. That will happen soon. Okay, so they changed uh, the difficulty level to uh, <clears throat> four leading hexadecimal zeros. They were impatient for next block to be mined. Okay, so they stopped waiting for the next block to be mined. And uh, on this time, they changed the difficulty level to four leading hexa zeros. And then they immediately see that all of the uns uh, uh, transactions unsaved are updated in the 30 second uh, block. And uh, now, uh, on the average, it will take about 0.6 seconds per block, uh, you know, because uh, <clears throat> the difficulty level has been now uh, reduced reduced to four. So basically, you uh, you know it gets much easier. So it will take more than uh, it will take uh, about uh, 0.6 seconds per block. That that's what you will see until uh, this time. So 0, 4, 36 time. As you can see, the blocks are very quickly mined. And then you will continue to see this until uh, 4 minutes 36 seconds. OK. It is the four minute, seven seconds. So we have to wait uh, 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 30 seconds more. Let's uh, zoom into the 30 second. Right here, they changed again to five leading zeros. 30 second, right here. Okay. Now they change the, the difficulty level to five again. It, it's uh, 4.7 seconds again. And then it will continue till the end. Okay. Now uh, you are on your own to uh, verify what I have said so far. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.